Breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in this country. It accounts for 48,000 new diagnoses each year and 1,000 women a month still die from this disease. Breakthrough, as this country's largest breast cancer charity, uh, has a mission to do all we can to bring change to that situation. And that brings us here to Westminster, to the heart of government, uh, to uh, take forward conversations, to meet with MPs, to meet with policy makers and decision makers uh, to help us to bring about that change. We have over 70 delegates, volunteer delegates from right across the country uh, that are here with us, helping us to achieve that sort of impact and they will do that um, by talking to their MPs about our charter, Bridging the Gap. Quite simply, Bridging the Gap means that we want to bridge the gap in breast cancer survival rates so that in this country we're achieving the sorts of survival rates from breast cancer that the best countries in Europe are achieving. We have a number of activities happening over the next couple of days. We have workshops. These are sessions where advocates can learn about the issues, can learn about how to take them forward to their MPs. Uh, then of course we have the one-to-one -one meetings with MPs, that's really the heart of the flying if you like, where our advocates can talk to their MPs about specific changes in their constituencies. And we have a reception at which our delegates will have the chance to meet a high number of MPs, more MPs in fact than we've had in previous years, MPs in particular with an interest in health. It's very important that uh, all members of parliament understand the importance of the charter, particularly things like a touch look check because if we can encourage our constituents to really you know, get behind some of the key issues in the Charter, then that will make a tremendous difference. We also have a chance to vote, quite simply to take votes on a key piece of consultation about the future of the NHS. The changes in the NHS are going to be very much the topic of this flying. My name is Sue Goodship and I'm a member of Breakthrough's Campaign and Advocacy Network and I'm here today at the Westminster Fly-In. Um, it's my first time, I'm really excited and nervous. I became involved in Breakthrough's campaign because my mother died due to breast cancer and I want to make a difference locally in my NHS services. Breakthrough's flying, I think, is a fantastic event because it ensures that people who have personal experience of what breast cancer can involve have an opportunity to bring their members of parliament up to date. It's very important that we achieve the, the best possible services we can for breast cancer patients in our country and uh, I'm pleased to support the aims of the Charter so that that's what we do get. My meeting went spectacularly well actually. I was very impressed with Jeremy. He knew more about breast cancer than I did. I've just been appointed the Health Whip so I'll have an opportunity to talk to health ministers about a whole range of subjects. And I hope to make sure that this is firmly on their agenda. Patrick's been really um, receptive to all our asks. Actually, today we've been trying to break new ground about talking, uh, talking about you know, the, the concept of setting up a women's health clinic inside New York. I have signed the charter. Uh, I've also agreed to write to uh, Andrew Lansley on the important issues covered by the charter. My meeting today has been very exciting and a lot less intimidating than I originally thought. Um, and I've really felt that I've um, raised the key issues with Breakthrough's um, Bridging the Gap campaign and uh, just enjoyed my time here today. Well today during the meeting I'm pleased to raise the profile of breast cancer screening, uh, particularly digital screening. As a trustee I think this 12th Westminster flying has been very successful. The highlight of this year's flying has been meeting all the new delegates. really enjoyed my time here at Westminster Fly-In. I've met other CAN members, I've learned more about breast cancer and how to influence my MP and I'd encourage you to come next year. It's been well worthwhile, I've thoroughly enjoyed every minute. It's just been really inspirational and realising that you can make a difference. For anybody who is thinking about joining CAN, do it. Okay.